Hello everyone and welcome to a new video in our IFS Cloud video series. My name is Marcel Aushan and I'm an IFS consultant and today I would want us to cover the topic of customer invoice postings. Yeah? How do we get from our receivables subledger all the way to general ledger? In a previous video I also covered the topic about inventory transactions. So whenever we move some stock I was telling you we are moving value and obviously that value needs to be reflected in the financial books and therefore we have these inventory transactions which have some postings behind it. Yeah, it's somewhat similar also with customer invoices yeah, where we record our revenue for the sales that we did. Also that revenue needs to flow into the general ledger yeah? and you will see also in our customer invoice, yeah, we will have some postings. So I will walk you through the, the process and also we will also have a look at the posting control, yeah, which controls which account in finance will be hit. Um, and we can control this in different ways, but I will show you. And we will also manage some exceptions whenever yeah, maybe some rules are not found in the posting control then we can we can quickly investigate and see what it's missing no? so without further ado let me go directly into the system yeah and maybe let me search for an existing customer invoice or maybe i'll just look for some older orders which are already invoiced and we should start with a c1 okay so maybe i take the first order and if we jump into the invoice information and now we go into the invoice details yeah we see this is the invoice for our order yeah where we sold two pieces of cube reaction pro for a total of 5,000 euros. Mm. Now, if we come to the top, we see we have a posting command group and here we can do some pre-posting, but what we want to see is the customer invoice postings. Mm. So if we go to the customer invoice postings, already this is something in finance and we can see that there was no error on these postings and we can see the different accounts that the system managed to, to fetch uh, to keep the voucher balanced. Yeah? So basically here uh, at the end we will also have um, we will have a voucher created. Yeah? We see here the voucher number, voucher number one, and we see here some posting types which are triggered whenever we print the invoice. Yeah? Printing the invoice means releasing it somehow so the postings are generated yeah? and we see a debit and a credit minus and a plus and we see the m30 is the posting type that is triggered yeah? and all of this information goes into the voucher and then the voucher if you've seen the previous video from inventory transaction to general ledger then the voucher we just run a job to update gl and this information will be in general ledger. Mm. But let's take the case where we want to create a new invoice. Yeah, and I purposefully uh, removed the proper setup in the M30 posting type. Let's see what happens then if we try to create an invoice and, and release it. Mm. So I go back to customer order, but I want to get back to the cust quick order flow handling. Yeah, we will create the invoices from here. So I see I have a few orders in status delivered. I will just select one of them and try to create an invoice for order number six. Okay, and if I refresh order number six now is invoice closed. I can jump into it and from the order I can navigate to the invoice from the invoice drop down invoice info button now i'm taking to cost taken to the customer or invoice lines i go to the details yeah and now i see my invoice is in preliminary status 
Yeah, this means postings were not created. Yeah, if I look at postings, you see, I don't have any posting information. Yeah, because if you remember, the postings are created when we finally print the invoice. Yeah, in this environment, it's also the command was renamed to release invoice, but basically it's yeah, printing the invoice. So if I release invoice, you see I get a message and now I can print it, but I don't really want to look at the PDF. We don't care about the PDF in this session. I just printed it or released it and you can see here that the status is printed. Yeah, so this one didn't go into status posted authorized as we saw the other ones. Yeah, and if we have a look at the posting, customer invoice postings analysis, we can see that it could not find any account. Yeah, we saw that it it's invoking the M30 posting control, posting type. Yeah, and we also have a message see here saying that the value is missing or has an invalid time interval for M30 posting control, posting type and control type C15. Yeah, so these are very specific finance topics. Yeah, finance person probably would know what all of this mean, but we can also quickly find out. Yeah. So code part A usually is the account yeah, the financial account in the chart of accounts. So let's try and fix this. Yeah. So whenever you have a situation where your customer invoice goes into status printed, this means there is an error in the posting. Yeah. And you can view that from going to posting and customer invoice posting analysis, or you can go to a page called customer invoice with errors customer invoices with errors and here you will see and now i think mine is the second one you will see that there are some errors and you can view the postings analysis and also important from this page once you fixed the cause of the error you come again to the page and say process invoice yeah? and it will try to recreate the postings if everything is right with the posting control then it will be able to recreate the, po the postings with the correct uh, with the correct account. Yeah, so we see here we have a posting error, so we can go to postings analysis. Yeah, and we are again taken to the same page. And here we see again the same text that we have a value missing for M30 control type C15. No? Good. Now I won't go into very much details with how posting control works and the different control types, but I will say a few things. So if we go into the posting control, posting control, right mouse button, open link in a new tab. I will go to the new tab once the data is loading. Okay, so we have the posting control. Yeah, and I already searched for M30. Yeah, so we see M30 is non-taxable sales. So what are the rules to get the account, the financial account from the chart of accounts when we have a non-taxable sales? Yeah, so M30. And here we can use different control types. Yeah, in this case, we have chosen to use the C15, which is basically the sales group for the sales part. Yeah, and in this case, we would need to have a mapping between the different sales groups of the sales parts and the different accounts, yeah? or at least specify a default value when we don't do the mapping with the control type. But we will just do the mapping with the control type. So if I go to the details, yeah, I see here in the posting control details, uh, I need to set up something for the C15, which is the sales group for the sales part. Yeah, let me maybe go back to my previous tab and try to go into the order because I want to get to one order so that we can go into the sales part without traveling through the navigator. So I go back one more time. Yeah, and yeah, if I click on the sales part number from the customer order line, 
I go to the sales part and here in the overview I see the sales group is the asterisk yeah. so I don't really use much of the sales groups uh, but also the asterisk if this is what it's set up here that M30 for the account will need to choose from the mapping for the sales group from the sales part then I need to map also the asterisk yeah. so I will come here to the posting control details and press the plus sign and I will choose for asterisk yeah, which is the default one for IFS applications and yeah. this is what you use when you don't want to use sales group because it's a mandatory field in the sales part so sales group asterisk and I will choose an account uh, for six account gross billing revenue and save it yeah. from here I can also copy to different companies this setup if you are working in a multi-company setup but for us this one is good enough the only thing we need to pay attention to is the valid from that it should be a date in the past so that our invoice uh, could be posted uh, for example if you had an invoice created from yesterday and the valid from would be today for this posting control then again you would get the same error message that it's an invalid time interval for the m30 posting control and posting type and c15 control type so i go back yeah now i have set up my posting control i go back into my sales parts let me try to find my invoice i can go to customer invoices with errors yeah, and from here i see my invoice with ending with a seven and i can press process invoice yeah and now it will try to create a voucher yeah, thing that happens automatically when you print if all the information is there in the posting control everything would work but now since yeah we need to fix the error first and then we process it again and by processing it we will create an voucher an f voucher type yeah, f voucher is for all the customer invoices so we will just say process invoice uh, and now even if i refresh the page our invoice is out yeah is no longer with errors let's see if we can find it uh, yeah customer order we go to the customer order page and we have this order number six which is invoice closed and this one had an issue with the posting in the invoice so if we go to invoice info now hopefully and indeed it is like that our invoice status moved to posted authorized yeah, so this means now we can re register mixed payment transactions against this invoice to mark it as paid posted yeah. so the flow is just to recap yeah whenever you create the invoice the invoice will be created in preliminary status yeah having a series id pr for preliminary and the invoice id as the invoice number and then when you release the invoice or finally print the invoice the system will try to create the postings in order to create the f voucher if the system can find all the needed information that's set up in the posting control for m30 if you have non-taxable sales m28 if you have taxable sales then it will create the voucher immediately and the status would be moved from preliminary to posted authorized if there are some issues and the system cannot find all the different code parts that it needs account being one of them then it will stay in status printed yeah so the succession of the statuses is from preliminary it will go to printed in case there was an issue with the posting which you can correct and then reprocess the invo the postings from customer invoices with errors and if everything went well it will go to posted authorized yeah. and then once you match a payment to this invoice yeah, it will be changed to paid posted 
Yeah, but I think it's crucial for you to understand how the information flows from from the customer invoice no? to the postings. And here we can see the postings. And then finally, the last step in order to get this posting transferred over to general ledger, we would just need to also move this voucher. Yeah, so if we go to voucher details, voucher details analysis in the navigator and look for voucher nine, voucher type F, open the search, voucher type F and voucher number we paste from the clipboard and we see it's approved. No? But once again, this is the sub ledger. No? It's not yet moved to the general ledger. No? We can see the information with the different accounts and all the data here. And what we would want to do is to update GL. So there is a job update GL voucher. We get the assistant coming up and we want the our voucher, which is F voucher. Let me maybe change this. We have the option to move everything or just hand pick whatever vouchers we want to move. Yeah, we want the F ending with a nine. This one is what we want to update to GL. Yeah. So we have now the information in GL and if we go to GL voucher details analysis, yeah, so not voucher details analysis, but GL voucher details analysis. And if we look for entry date today, then we have this F voucher, which now has been moved into the general ledger. Yeah, and from here you cannot do anything with it. It's set in stone and this is used for keeping all the, the transactions um, that are needed for auditing by the local authorities or whoever wants to audit. And this is your general voucher, general ledger vouchers. Good. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay safe and see you in the next one. Bye.